everyone today we will discuss about the cooling rate of fed so basically it is defined as the difference between austenitizing temperature and the quench temperature divided by the time to cool with some value of calculation of cooling rate on the center line of fed so steps involved in cooling rate of fed so firstly we will determine the thickness of plate so t1 is equals to t under root rho c tc minus to upon h net where t is a plate thickness in mm rho is a density of material in gram per millimeter cube c is a specific heat of solid metal joule per gram degree centigrade rho c is equals to volumetric efficiency joule by millimeter cube degree centigrade and tc is equals to 550 degree centigrade for most steel here h net is equals to e into i by v into f where e is a arc voltage i i is a current v is travel speed and f is equals to tra heat transfer efficiency so then we will there are two cases if t1 is equals to t1 is greater than 0.75 then we will treat as a thick plate and if t1 is less than 0.7 mm we will treat this plate as a thin plates then cooling rate of thick plates is given by r is equals to under root 2 pi k tc minus to k squared upon h net where r is a cooling rate at a point on the weld center line k is equals to thermal conductivity tu is equals to initial temperature of plate to be welded and if t is less than 0.75 then we will treat as a thin plates then cooling rate of thin plates is given by r is equals to 2 pi k rho c t upon h net square into tc minus to cube it can be seen from above two equation that if plate to be welded preheat if plate to be welded preheated to the raised temperature tc minus to will decrease and hence r that is cooling rate will be reduced preheating is often done to reduce cooling rate when welding hardenable sheet hardenable steel